To take screenshots in OBS Studio, it's simple. First, you need to choose your folder that the screenshots are going to go into so you can actually find them. Settings tab down here in the bottom right hand corner and go to Output. Within the Output tab right over here, you're going to select the recording path that your videos go to. That is actually the same place that your screenshots go to. So if you have not yet assigned this, go ahead and click the browse button next to it and pick a folder where you want both your video recordings and your screenshots to go to all in the same folder. Really quick, if you're using advanced mode, it's the same process. You just have to go into a different spot to choose your folder for your screenshots. Go to the recording tab right up here, then select browse and choose your folder, okay? So for today's video, I'm gonna use simple mode. You hit apply once you've selected your folder, then hit okay. All right, there are two main ways to take screenshots in OBS. If you wanna take a screenshot of the entire scene, meaning in this example, I both have an image here and I have a webcam. If you wanna take a screenshot of all of that combined, what you do is you go to the scene section, select your scene, right click, and go to screenshot scene. It will take the screenshot and drop it in the folder that you assigned earlier. Here it is, here's my folder. You can then double click it and check out, boom. As you can see, it did a full HD screenshot of both. But let's say you don't wanna take a screenshot of everything in an entire scene, but you only wanna take a screenshot of one source. That's available here in the sources section of OBS. So let's say I wanted to take a screenshot of me making a crazy face for a YouTube thumbnail. Cool. What I can do very quickly is I can click the webcam source, the camera you see down here in the bottom left, and I can make a crazy YouTube face. Here we go. Oh, uh, and then I right click on that source and then I go to screenshot source. So I go, oh, I did some YouTube face. Awesome. Now, as you can see, when you go back to your folder, it took a HD, full HD, full resolution screenshot of that specific source. Pretty cool pulled it right out of there. You can do that with gameplay, with videos, with images, with presentations, anything at all, web browsers, you name it. You can screenshot all of them. There's a secret way to take screenshots in OBS. I wanna show it to you, it's in the hotkeys. And also, you might just be interested in assigning hotkeys for this anyway, so you can do less clicking and more screenshotting. Go to the settings menu, go over to hotkeys, and there's a bunch of screenshot related hotkeys. Check it out. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see them right over here. This one is called screenshot output. So what that means is whatever you're outputting, whatever your master output is, your live stream or your recording, you can screenshot that output by assigning a hotkey to it right here. Pretty cool. And if you want to screenshot a specific source like I did a moment ago, there's also a hotkey here for that. So if you want to assign hotkeys to each of those, you just put in a letter, a number, a combination, or whatever you want, and then it's assigned here, Q and W. I'll hit apply and just demo it for you. So if I start my recording, if I want to take a screenshot of my scene, I hit that hotkey. If I want to take a screenshot of my source, I hit that hotkey that we just assigned. And as you can see, those brand new images just popped up right here in our folder along with our recording that we're doing at the same time. It all drops into that same folder. Everything is available for you using the screenshot system here in OBS. And if you would like me to help you succeed in online broadcasting, I've literally been doing this for a living for the last 10 years. I help folks that are just getting started up to multi-billion dollar media corps, people with millions of subscribers, you name it, I've helped them succeed in online broadcasting. Just go to my website, awalldigital.com, link below. Choose your day, choose your time, enter your information, and I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you working on your tech, your YouTube strategy, your social media strategy, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in online broadcasting, I got your back. Let's jump on a call.